This is how you can create a custom wallpaper that fits exactly to your phone using Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dia Graphics. So the first thing we want to do when we want to design a wallpaper for our phone is simply to figure out the resolution of our phone. One way to do this is simply to take a screenshot on our phone and transfer that one to our computer. You can transfer the screenshot to a computer by cable or by simply emailing it to yourself and download it from there. When the screenshot is transferred, right click the screenshot, go to properties, go to details and go down where it says dimensions. And as you can see, the resolution on my phone is 1080 pixels by 2340 pixels. So write down or remember this resolution. Another reason why we need a screenshot is simply so we can use it as a template to design around these elements right here. So if you want to design a wallpaper for your lock screen, take the screenshot of the lock screen like I did right here. If you want to design a wallpaper for your home screen, then take a screenshot of the home screen. So after transferring the screenshot, simply open up your preferred design program. For this tutorial, I will be using Adobe Illustrator. Now create a new canvas with the size of your phone screen. In Adobe Illustrator, you go to File, go to New, then make sure the units is set to pixels and type in the width and the height of your phone screen. These are the numbers that we found in our screenshot properties. So the resolution on my phone screen was 1080 pixels by 2340 pixels. So after typing that in, simply click OK. And now we have a canvas that is exactly the same size as our phone screen. And now we want to import our screenshot to use it as a template. So go to File, go to Place and find the screenshot on your phone. And the screenshot should fit exactly to a canvas. If it doesn't fit, you probably typed in the wrong dimensions. Now go to the layers panel and lock this screenshot. Then create a new layer. And now we are going to design on top of this template. So for this tutorial, I'll be doing a simple background with the Diagraphics logo on top. So first, go to File, go to Place, and find your logo and place it to a canvas. Click OK. From here, you can simply scale it. And now because we're using the screenshot as a template, I can easily figure out exactly where to place the logo to place it in the middle of these two elements right here. So I will drag the logo down a little bit. I think this placement look nice. And to make sure there's equal space right here, I will simply align the logo. And it didn't move, so it is already horizontally aligned. Now I can go to the layer with the logo and lock this one too. Then click the screenshot layer and create a layer between these two layers. This is going to be the layer with our background. So simply create a background. On this case, I will import one. So go to file, go to place and import the background you want. Then simply fill out the canvas with the background. So now just to be safe, uncheck the visibility of the screenshot. And now we are ready to export our wallpaper. So simply go to file, go to export, Go to file type and choose JPEG. Then check this box right here that says use artboards. This is very important to get the right dimensions. Give the file a name and save it wherever you like. Then make sure you have RGB as color mode, the quality is at maximum and the resolution is high. Then click OK. So now the wallpaper is saved on our computer and we can simply transfer it back to our phone by using the same method as transferring the screenshot to our computer. And then you simply find the wallpaper on your phone and select it as a lock screen or a home screen wallpaper. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.